What's up, folks? You saw the title, Alabama. I think it's been a little bit since I've done an Alabama song, and these guys, as we know, are just phenomenal. I'm doing their song, My Home's in Alabama, and it was requested by Scott and Dow. And I don't know if you live down there, Scott and Dow, or Scott, as I might say. I don't know if you live in Bama or if you're somewhere else, but let's see what we've got. Yeah, I don't know it. This is a reaction. Oh, that's a long one. Drinking was forbidden in my Christian country home. I learned to play the flat top on them good old gospel songs. Then I heard about the bar rooms just across the Georgia line Where a boy could make a living playing guitar late at nights Had to learn about the ladies too young to understand Why the young girls fall in love with the boys in the band When the boys turn to music, the girls just turn away to some other guitar picker in some other late night place Yeah, held on to my music, let the ladies walk away Took my songs and dreams to Nashville, then I moved on to L.A. Up to New York City, all across the U.S.A. I've lost so much of me, but there's enough of me to say that my home's in Alabama No matter where I lay my head My home's in Alabama Southern born and southern bred me going I don't really know can't be the money Lord knows I'm always broke could it be the satisfaction of being understood when the people really love you and let you know when it's good oh I'll speak my southern English as natural as I please I'm in the heart of Dixie, Dixie's in the heart of me. And someday when I make it, when luck finds a way, somewhere high on Lookout Mountain, I'll just smile with pride and say, that my home's in Alabama, no matter Did this go to, was this one of their number one hits? Because I think they've had something like 40 or 45 number one hits, something like that. Did this get there? It's a long song, so I can't imagine it got a lot of radio time. But on, you know, southern stations, it absolutely would have gotten play, certainly in Alabama. I don't know, there's some really nice details in terms of phrases in here, too. Southern boy. Southern born and Southern bred. That's Skinner S.
That's the steel. Outlaws, Molly Hatchet. Wow. I know melodically at different moments, there was there were things going on in this song that I didn't pick up on. I mean, maybe one could be like Alabama State song, just a quick riff. I don't know if that was in there or not, but I know there's so many things that goes on in a song like this that that would be missed, especially if it's the first time hearing it, which it is for me. But man, there was a lot going on in there. I mean, you had tempo changes, you had mood changes. You know, the theme was set by this musician out on the road. He's broke all the time. Why do we even do this? I know my home is back in Alabama. Um, you know, he's pursuing a dream. But I wonder when this song came out, too. I mean, was this like an accurate reflection at the time? Was this early in their career that they came out with this? So maybe they were on the road a lot and were broke. Um, it's hard to imagine Alabama broke, but I mean, all musicians start out broke is pretty much unless, you know, mom and dad bankrolled them, which is rare. So um, Scott and Al, I'm not rating that. You know, it's just something that was a song that's like a, a, out of respect for a state. I don't I don't do patriotic. I don't rate patriotic songs. This was not patriotic in terms of the United States, but in terms of their own state, you know, I don't rate songs in honor of another person too. So this sort of like is in that territory. So I'm going to leave it be, but you guys can leave your comment. You can rate it if you want. Some folks from BAM, I'm sure will rate it a 10. And, uh, but I don't know. That's up to you. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. Yeah.